Uh, late 2017, I think there's a bit of concern at the moment in the industry and with the consumer about diesel. I think because of recent developments, I think diesel is being vilified, uh, probably unfairly. Uh, and uh, there's issues about the cleanliness of diesel from an emissions perspective, mostly around the nitrogen, uh, nitrogen oxide and particulate matter. But uh, we, we believe there's a strong role for diesel for the future as well. But we welcome some of that disruption because consumers are now looking objectively at what suits their needs. So clearly, uh, we still believe that with the Euro 6 compliant car is a very clean car, is as clean as a petrol car. And if you're still a very high mileage dri driver, di diesel is the car for you. And there's customers at the moment buying diesel where a petrol car is more suitable. A diesel car is probably on average about 2,000 euros more expensive than petrol. And actually they'll be better off with a petrol car if they're not high mileage drivers. And uh, there's a perfect uh, opportunity now with plug-in hybrid where when you look at uh, CO2 free emissions, with a plug-in hybrid you can get a range of up to 40 kilometers on full electric. And that is really suitable for most people's commuting needs on a day-to-day -day basis. So they can get to work and back on electric, uh, electric power. And if they still want to drive to the south of France on holiday, they can use the car perfectly well because the uh, uh, conventional um, petrol uh, engine will take you to the end of the world and back if you so wish. Another challenge for the industry is getting ready for the future, which is coming whether we like it or not. You know, we see very clearly uh, four key themes that are driving uh, the development of, of mobility. One is electrification, which we are very well placed. We've got about nine models already on the road today that are electrified, including a, even an electric scooter and a plug-in mini. Um, we're looking at connectivity, that's very important. I think this, the development of the um, kind of mobility of the future is powered more by harnessing the power of data than necessarily straightforward engineering. Uh, we're looking at um, autonomous driving as well, is one of those areas that uh, I think it's a bit of the cliche coming, when is a driverless car coming, everyone is working on it. We believe it is coming. Uh, we've got technology already in our cars, like the 7 Series and the 5 Series with driving assistant that is already kind of level two of, uh, on the journey. And by 2021, we'll have uh, highly autonomous cars, probably driving on motorways and uh, fully autonomous in pilots already in the city center environments. So that's coming as well very fast indeed.